Hello guys, I'm just doing a uh, short little overview on my telescope I have. I've been using for the last probably about a year and a half. Uh, this is actually my first Mead uh, Fractor Telescope. Uh, I did have a Celestron, but I, you know, it was kind of small. I wanted something bigger, a little bit more professional because I wanted to start you doing uh, astrophotography. So I didn't want to get an ED glass one. I didn't have the money to blow, you know, three or four thousand dollars on one. So I came and came to a conclusion just to get this one. It's actually not a bad uh, telescope to get started in astrophotography, but it's the one I've been using along with my uh, Canon camera to take uh, pictures and video. But uh, it's it's uh, pretty big as as you can see. I'll I'll pan down in a minute so you can get an idea. But the specs on it's a uh, it's a f 8.3 refractor, 120 millimeter. The focal length's about a thousand. It came with two uh, two eyepieces, a one and a quarter inch nine millimeter and a 26 millimeter, and it also came with the two inch uh, diagonal which was nice but I actually upgraded that it has your standard uh, racket and pinion focuser and I actually upgraded to the Orion 50 uh, is it 50 by 10 I can't I gotta look it up viewfinder that's a it's a it's a nice telescope though it's actually pretty heavy it's pretty big to be you know kind of lugging it around but I don't have a case for it yet I don't know if I'm gonna get one but uh yeah it's they're actually discontinued now I actually like the look at look of them they look really good um as you can see I put it in my room so you can get a size comparison by my my big dresser so uh yeah it's this is fully extended so it's 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 pretty big I mean a lot bigger than my last one and it comes with your uh, uh, the LX 70 series German equatorial mount and it does have right ascension and declination and it came with the remote really easy to install so uh, I can't take long shutter pictures with this but it gives me a general idea if I ever wanted to upgrade to a you know, better one but this is a you know my first one so I think it's it's pretty good for what I'm using it for uh, it result the resolving power is at uh, 0 0.912 arc seconds which is not too bad since it's just a standard uh, racket and pinion folks are I've thought about upgrading it but I'm just gonna hold off on that for right now uh, it weighs about 47.5 pounds but that's not you know I've added some stuff to it so it weighs a lot more than that um, I've used it for about a year it's uh, gotten some really good pictures of it they actually discontinued this I don't know if I said it already but they discontinued it uh, uh, when it first came out the listing price now is six seven hundred dollars plus tax so it's you know the Celestron I had was only like a little hundred and sixty dollar one and you kind of kind of buy when you get a telescope you know whatever money you put in and you're gonna that's kind of what you're gonna get out of it so I wanted to step up a little bit you know just uh, have a little bit more better viewing uh, planets it's fucking awesome you can really zoom in uh, Jupiter Saturn the moon is amazing it really resolves the rings of Saturn and Jupiter's moons really well. Uh, I went, I I had the regular eyepieces for a little while, and uh, I went ahead and upgraded to the the Meta uh, Series 5000 enhanced uh, diagonal with the thread adapter on, and I also got the ultra wide angle. 5.5 millimeter and a 14 millimeter by Mead, which are excellent glass. They're pretty, pretty good. And uh, I actually got the Mead Polar Scope. It's actually installed. They can't find those anymore. So I have like the complete Mead package, I guess. But I mean, for lunar, man, the contrast is awesome. Planetary is easy. I've done some deep sky on it before, and I'm in Dallas, so I'm in the red zone. But I've still 
gotten some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Hercules cluster is really easy. Uh, Andromeda, I've seen that. Uh, the, also have the Orion. Uh, there's a Q70 eyepiece. And man, I think that's the 38 millimeter. I got I think yeah, 38 millimeter. And man, it's like looking outside of glass of a spaceship. I mean, it's ultra wide. And you know, I can imagine going to a dark side, how awesome it'd be. But uh, I wanna do a couple of, I'll get in a little closer so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And you know, uh, it's just a short overview. I'm gonna actually hoping to use it this weekend with my girlfriend, so. But I'll, I'm just, you know, just doing a quick little overview. It's not really a de detailed uh, detailed video, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the other stuff. Okay, right here, this is the equatorial mount. Those are the couple of motors that uh, came with it. They install really easy. There's one in here, and then the, there's one down in here, which is uh, declination, I believe. Uh, you have your remote uh, right here. So, uh, works really well. Let's see if I can... So you got, if you're in North America, you go to North America and then South America. And then you have your speeds on the right. Uh, as right ascension, declination. And uh, it's got a, you know, decent eye eyepiece holder. Um, I try not to put too many on there. But uh, it makes it a lot heavier and, you know, when I'm moving it around and stuff. But I do like the color of it. It works really well. Uh... The motors work excellent. The speed is what you know, pretty perfect. Um, let's see right here, and this is uh, the uh, upgraded diagonal I got by me, the F Series 5000. As you can see, there's the uh, Q70 38mm. That that thing is a two-inch beast, and that, this is a two-inch adapter. I don't use a one and a quarter. If I have to, I do have the uh, I do have the adapter for it came with it, so I can just throw my uh, you know one in a. Let me see. I don't have a super cool camera, but uh, it has a little adapter on it, so I can uh, use my one and a quarter inch on here too to two inch, so I don't have to be switching them out, which is nice. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is it right now. This is what I'm working with. I've gotten some really good pictures out of it. It's just really big. It's, it's, it's just big. Uh, let me see if I can move real quick. Alrighty. The re, I don't have, like, auto... I do need to get a better camera, but kind of just uh, using what I got, you know. So, yeah, it's just, it is pretty big. Like, it's almost the size of a rocket pelled grenade launcher. <laughs> it, it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy. It looks nice. It's well built. You know, uh, there's no customer service for it right now, but I really don't need any. I haven't had any problems with it. There is, uh, I think there's a gas release uh, on the on the on the. I don't know if it's on the main lens, but it hasn't affected anything yet. But uh, I'm probably gonna stick with meat if I decide to get another telescope in the future. But for, for right now, this is this is a pretty good telescope. Let me go ahead and uh, switch my lenses real quick. So uh, these are the eyepieces I use now. I did use the ones that it came with, but they're, you know, they're just basic. So I got the Mead Series 5000, I got the, the diagonal, the two inch diagonal, which is really nice. It actually goes with the telescope too. Uh, the 5.5, the 14 millimeter, uh, the Orion Q, uh, 38, Q70, which are really, really good eyepieces. I, that's like my favorite one. Uh, I do have borrow lens, but I don't use it too much. But those are, that's kind of the basic stuff. I don't have too much stuff right now, but you know, I work with what I have. And this is the, uh, the new diagonal by Mead. 
she goes with the telescope, the Q70, and thinks this thing is huge, man. It is heavy. It's heavy eyepiece. You know, going up, there's a new uh, Orion viewfinder, right angle. Go all the way up. Get a quick little. And the paint job on this is great. I love it. I love it. That's just a quick little video. I'll get more in-depth video later on, but for right now, this is all I'm gonna do. Kind of just bench and just do a little quick video. So you guys take it easy.